My name is Adam Cox. I'm a phobia expert, also known as the phobia guru, just based on my track record of helping people eliminate their phobias in a single session. Now, trypanophobia is the fear of injections or needles. And this is a very difficult phobia for those people that experience it, because it can mean that they avoid things like vaccinations, they avoid going to places like dentists or doctors or hospitals. So it can actually lead to long-term health consequences directly as a result of the fear of injections. Now this fear normally comes about in childhood, either because one of the parents of the child um, also has this fear, so they actually learn the fear from a, a parent or a sibling, or because of a sensitizing event. And that sensitizing event could be that they actually have an injection as a child, very young child, but enough to kind of process the meaning of being in an environment where they receive that injection. Now, in many cases, the injection itself quite often isn't explained very well to a child. Um, it can be painful. And because of this, the very sight of a needle as in a syringe or an injection in a medical context can actually create severe anxiety and in some cases even a panic attack. Now the number one way that people deal with phobias and severe anxiety is avoidance. Now in certain things if someone has a fear of clowns for example or a fear of a certain type of animal Avoidance is actually a very effective strategy because you just avoid those things and therefore you don't feel the horrible sensations. If, however, it's a fear of injections, then that can actually lead to people avoiding vaccinations during school. Uh, and it tends to be during the school period between the ages of about five to uh, 16 that um, it, uh, vaccinations and injections are given as part of a nationwide uh, rollout. Now, if someone has this fear of injections, this uh, trypanophobia, they will miss school on those particular days. They're gonna co constantly avoid um, certain vaccinations and injections. Um, and that does put them at higher risk of certain diseases later on in life. Um, so there's that issue. It can also be an issue if someone has um, dental issues. So dentophobia is the fear of dentists or going to the dentist. But trypanophobia, the fear of needles or injections, can also relate to that because there is a perception that if they have work that needs to be done um, dental, uh, dentally speaking, that an injection is going to be administered. Now, if you have that fear of being injected, then um, of course, you're going to avoid the dentist as well. Um, also, um, it might be that if they have severe pain, they will also avoid um, going to hospitals because in many cases, doctors or nurses will take a blood sample in order to do tests. Now, people with trypanophobia, they have a fear of being injected, whether that is to inject something into the blood or take something out. Um, either way, there is a real anxiety and intense panic um, to that particular sensation. There is also crossovers in many cases with other phobias, including hemophobia, um, which is the fear of blood. Um, also, there is a fear, a phobia of pain. Um, so the fear of pain itself can also link to injections because if you fear pain and you perceive that an injection is painful, then that can also create more phobias. So there are certain phobias that can actually um, cross over and create or amplify other fears, which then in turn become other phobias. Um, so all in all, not a great fear to have. Um, and it's also very concerning if a parent sees a child with a fear of injections, a fear of needles, um, because then they're caught between mixed emotions. At some level, they do want to do what's in the best interest of the child and make sure that they get the right medical attention in terms of, let's say, a dental issue or a vaccination. But at the same time, they don't want to see their child distressed. And that can be a very uh, troubling time for parents to have to actually deal with an issue where a child clearly has a severe anxiety to injections and needles, 
but at the same time, they want what's best for their child. The good news is, is that a fear of injections, a fear of needles, can actually be eliminated in just a single session. Um, I've done this with several clients, uh, adults and children. Uh, I don't tend to work with children under the age of 10, um, but over 10, I can work with children and actually get results very, very quickly. You find that children actually have very vivid and active imaginations, and that's actually part of why they feel the fear anyway. Those people that have a fear of injections, they don't only experience that anxiety when they're in front of a syringe or a needle. Um, they they actually experience the same anxiety by making pictures inside their mind's eye about the idea of going to a hospital or a doctor's or a dentist. So um, the fact that children and adults can have these very vivid imaginations to cause anxiety, I can actually use that vivid imagination to break the pattern. So rather than feeling anxious, they actually feel different emotions. And another really useful technique to deal with a fear of injections is actually disassociation. Um, so you've probably had the experience of, let's say, being so immersed into a book or a film that you lost track of time, or you've had that experience of driving long journeys, and then suddenly you get to the destination and, and try and wonder who was driving the car, even though it was you, because you were doing it in a completely disassociated state. So I can use the principles of disassociation. So at the very point where someone is experiencing the injection, their attention is elsewhere, which is the opposite of what people tend to do if they have a phobia of injections. All of their focus is on the, on the syringe, on the needle, uh, and they hyper-focus on that particular sensation, which actually means it becomes more severe than it would be if they were um, very casual about it. Also, the sympathetic nervous system kicks in, which means more stress, more adrenaline, more tense muscles, which actually doesn't help the whole process of administering an injection. Um, key thing is that this fear, this phobia can be eliminated very, very quickly. And there are uh, three main ways in which people will work with me one-on-one -on -one, um, to get rid of this um, phobia. The first is that they see me at my practice in Harley Street in central London. And normally in one session, but occasionally two sessions, um, I work with them to find out how they experience the anxiety and the particular sequence of things they do in order to feel that anxiety and we break that pattern so it's just not possible for them to do it in the same way again. For clients that are based in other parts of the world, I do a lot of my client sessions over Skype with broadcast quality microphones and HD cameras so it's almost like I'm there with them even though I work with people literally all over the world. And the third way in which people work with me is that I've actually created a lot of video content and audio content that I can actually send to people as part of a seven day phobia elimination course, which means although it's not me providing bespoke content to them in their situation, they are still able to get the same overall techniques, tools and resources to break the pattern. And that's a more uh, cost effective way of someone working with me. Um, if you are interested in finding out more about this phobia or in fact all phobias, in fact what are phobias, why do you have a phobia and how do you eliminate phobias quickly, I've actually created a video that I normally charge at 30 pounds, British pounds or 40 US dollars. That's currently available absolutely free of charge on the phobiaguru.com website. So if you are interested in learning more about this and actually just wanna find out how to get rid of this fear, this phobia, please go to phobiaguru.com. Um, hope this video has been useful and look forward to seeing you there.